Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to design beautiful wedding invitation cards using the free graphic design program Inkscape. And I'm going to start working with the design. I already have some flowers here that I'm going to use for the design. But before, I would like to invite you to please support this channel by subscribing and liking this video. I'm going to click on the square and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the canvas. I'm going to click on the top arrow, then I'm going to go to the size bar above. I'm going to change it from millimeters to inches. I'm going to open the lock and I'm going to type the measurements. This one is going to be five by seven inches. Now I'm going to change the color to white using the color palette below. I'm going to select it and duplicate it. And I'm going to change the color so you see it. And I'm going to make a smaller rectangle that is going to go in the center. Now go to path, then click on link offset, click on the second arrow, and you're going to see that little diamond on the rectangle. Let's stretch it to the outside to create an offset. Then select both layers, only the ones in the center. Go back to path, then click on difference. Now select both layers, expand the menu on the right, then click on these bars and align it center horizontally and vertically. Now I'm going to start adding the designs. I'm going to add this cloud. This cloud came with those flowers. I got those flowers from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link them in the video description down below. Use your creativity to arrange the flowers. I'm going to insert a few rectangles to cover the lines on these parts. I'm going to create these small rectangles and change the color to white. Now click on this icon over here and send it to the back. Now the leaves look better. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to place another one on the other side just to cover the line and send it to the back and it's ready now. You can save it like that to have the template or you can start adding the text with the invitation information. I'm going to go ahead and start typing the information. I'm going to click on the A on the left. The font that I'm going to be using is called Adorable. I got it from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. The day is going to be bigger and on the sides I'm going to create some lines to highlight the month and the year. I'm going to click on the square and I'm going to create two lines. I'm going to duplicate this one. Now I'm going to select both and I'm going to align them using the align feature on the right. I'm going to keep them selected, right click and group. Next I'm going to duplicate it to place another one on the other side. I'm going to select that row and align it. Now here we're going to type the month and the year. And below I'm going to keep on adding all the information that I have it here ready so I don't make this video too long. I'm going to curve this line to go above the numbers. I'm going to insert a circle, 
Then I'm going to place the text that I need to curve on top. I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to go to text above and I'm going to click on put on path. Rotate it. Place the text on the card. Keep it selected. Go to path and click on object to path. Now you can erase the circle. And here we have the beautiful wedding card ready to be printed. Select all the layers, right click and group it so it doesn't move. You can save it on your computer so you print it later or you can print it straight from here. But first I'm going to show you how to save it. Go to the menu on the right, click on the folder with the arrow, make sure it says 300 dpi, click on the folder below, open the folder where you want to save it and save it. You can save it in PNG or SVG. Now to print it, go to file, click on print and select the printer that you need to use. Then go to page setup and there you're going to select either cardstock or photo paper. If your printer has the quality option, select high quality. Also some printers give you the option to pick glossy or matte. And print it. Now you already know how to design beautiful wedding cards using the free graphic design program Inkscape. If you like this video, I invite you to support this channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and until next time.